Heidi ho neighbor. Hey, it is the basic Sorgonomics. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios here in Beachview in Pittsburgh, PA. And with me, of course, is the other Sorg in the Sorgatron Media. Missy is with me. Hello. Hello, friends. Hello. We got some new hardware. It seems like we always have new hardware these days of some sort. But uh, we're, we're in the works on that, so hopefully everything looks a little bit better. We're kind of figuring out some configuration. I don't know. Maybe the camera's good there, except for my mic stand kind of going on there. I, I'm appreciating my neon green pipe cleaner that I was using to <laughs> wrangle my cord <laughs> that you took my cord. I took your cord. <laughs> so it was already wrangled, so I know it's not as wonderful with the neon pipe cleaner. So, you know. Uh, but uh, but still, uh, anyways. Uh, but no, this is this is where we just kind of chat about whatever is kind of on our minds, such as such neon as the, green the pipe green cleaners. Pipe cleaners, and we'll talk a little bit about some of the hardware changes we're making here. I don't want to talk about them until I got them all to work. Good call, <laughs> especially since I think you've swapped out different things uh, here. Yeah, for the last three days. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. We had a, a pretty big acquisition. You know, I, I, I'm a big on the cast-offs of hardware. and, uh, it's, and not, it's not looking at it as cast-offs. It's looking at it as equipment that people have already used, and it works. Mm -hmm. So you know that the bugs have been worked out of it. And even it's hardware that I've been using for the last couple of years. Exactly. So it's like, oh, yeah, I can work that in. Exactly. Um, but it's, it's stuff that's going to improve. It, it's definitely a big improvement and actually kind of future-proofing our studio. So yes. uh, in, in the long run, you know, so it's not it's not definitely the I mean, let's be honest, if I want some if, if I had my way, I'd have a big uh, tele TriCaster crazy rig like we saw in uh, Pataluma when we visited Twitch Studios. So if there are any potential sponsors out there who would like to sponsor yeah. our podcast studio here in Beachview as like we redevelop upgrades, we would love to talk to you about some of we the fun a, things that we're doing. We got a wonderful window. We could put your logo in over here with like the T going by, you know. So, but yes. anyways, you know, we're, we're, and we're working on some ideas on how to maybe utilize that here in the near future too. Um, but anyways, so today I wanted to talk about, you know, like I love, I love, I was like, I want to talk about this hybrid podcasting idea that I've had for a while. And you're like, what hybrid? I know, I know it's that, that, that worried look you give me of, uh, wait, what idea have you not told me about now? that you're completely going to not talk to me about to implement and, 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 and everything. Yeah. This, this is one of the things that makes it fun because you and I don't just work together. We're married. Mm -hmm. So like we have, you have survived many of my harebrained schemes over the years, which is interesting because you usually come to me with these ideas. And my first thought as the logistics person is, all right, what portion of this can we actually make a reality mm -hmm. and how do we do that? So whenever you come to the new idea, it's like, okay, we need to troubleshoot this. We need to figure it out. And then when you tell me that you're, we're going to be talking about it on the podcast and we're going to do it, you know, in 20 minutes, that doesn't give me a whole lot of leeway to, <laughs> to figure things out. So but, much like the, the people that, are listening today and in the stream after You're the fact. You're just as surprised as everybody else. I no, no, am no. just as surprised as you guys. So I've been thinking about things because you know we we you know we do podcasting and everything, and I know we had we had something labeled as as video podcasting for one of our boot camp sessions up at the library for PodCamp, and uh, you know, and I think a lot about you know what we do here, you know, what we are doing for for a Wrestling Mayhem Show and Awesome Cast, right? Where yeah, it's been a podcast for how many years, and most of the people do for the most part listen to us on iTunes and Stitcher and Google Play Music and, and iHeartRadio apparently as well. Um, and But we've always had that live component and especially lately with Facebook Live it seems like we kind of default to, well, we'll do it on video because we, we have the setup to really literally turn this on and be live whenever we want. That's why mm -hmm. that's why we, it's not much overhead for us to do this show. It's just like, oh, I just got to boot everything up and, um, and you know, and, and we're live. And we remembered to put the recording signs on the doors we did, today so we, we don't have did. guests coming in like and yesterday. And we won't have our dog, <laughs> uh, we won't have our dog chasing away somebody from CMU and <laughs> oops. Yes. Um, but no, I, I agree with you. It's, it's, been one of the components that we utilize with with our podcasting stuff and it's great because i remember back in the day when you first started this whole podcasting things a few years ago you were using like a shoutcast server and mm -hmm. oh that was pre-podcasting though well i guess i was still using it at the time wasn't i yeah that was yeah yeah that's how we kept the live aspect of it yeah 
and you had like the capacity to have what was it 10 people or so in mm-hmm. your chat room at the time mm-hmm. no, so. no the 10 people listening the chat rooms were, were only limited to our imaginations but they wouldn't all be able to listen to what we were listening to so gotcha. aol chat rooms <laughs> yes so yeah to, to say that it's come a long way mm. It's it's come a long way, but also <laughs> like we're also fine. I mean, I, I we're definitely seeing this. Sometimes we're finding that uh, sometimes we'll do a recording, and more people are catching us on the Facebook Live than ever download the show. Definitely happening with Indie Mayhem show. Like we have a okay download bit with Indie Mayhem show, mm-hmm. but man, when we go live with a good guest on Facebook, it just skyrockets in into the hundreds, if not like you know maybe a thousand thousand views on that one. When, when you know we're not getting. Anywhere near that on on the like, the iTunes part of it. Well, and the th- the fun thing about it is, is that I, I know one of the hardest parts that you've had with Indie Mayhem show specifically is, unless you have regular guests, mm-hmm. it it's, loses that weekly component Absolutely. to it. Absolutely, and that it, you doing podcasting, you're aware of it that that kills your momentum with things because then people are like, oh, there's not a new episode, mm-hmm. or they don't know when they're going to get a new episode. And plus, we kind of have a two prong thing that you get to be a part of it live, mm-hmm. and then you know, and we're we're pretty backlogged right now. Like we're we we have. I was working on the next couple of weeks. Like we have one we're doing today that we it's timely, so we're going to post post it next week. Um, I was working on the next two episodes after that. You know, so we've been pretty good about that. Where like you know, you get to experience it but then it goes back out and, and creates some conversation maybe about three or four weeks later as well mm-hmm. so no absolutely it makes a makes a nice big difference with it and again the chat room component to it is great because as we're talking about the information for each of the shows mm-hmm. whether it's the indie mayhem interview or if it's a, an awesome cast or something as we're talking about it with the slight delay that there is between what we're doing live versus what's pushing live through Facebook, uh, we're getting interaction from the chat room people. So people are asking questions. They're talking about their experience with different things that they're they're dealing with. Uh, you know, so they're they're part of the conversation at that point. Absolutely. And for your scheduled, like people know that you we do the the awesome cast and the mayhem show every Tuesday night. We have dedicated audiences, audience members that tune in each week for that because they know that that's when you go live that's what you're doing and that if they want to talk about anything with you or if they want to if they have any questions they can just participate and it's also nice because then a lot of those follow along when we do our interviews because we do the interviews i i, I want to make it easy to get people in here for the interviews especially in studio for the interviews and those can be about any time we just had cynthia koski here last friday i think it was and that's mm-hmm. going up i think next no i actually, actually came up went up today i think no she waited two weeks ago that's right I, I, I screwed up the schedule on awesome chat a couple weeks ago sorry guys uh but anyways but uh or you know we're having uh tom liturgy uh, uh doing his ccac thing today uh shirley doe went up today and we talked to him probably about three weeks ago on a tuesday night a month ago i think and it's also that's also really cool when we're able to bundle those up with wrestling mayhem show they're late nights so that sucks but um those that are willing you know we have you know a guy like shirley doe or when locked and loaded were on or you know or calvin calvin couture uh, recently, and uh, I'm trying to say his name right because I've been listening to the commentary. And I was like, I just said the wrong. I'm not pronouncing the T right. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> but you know, they get to have some exposure when they're on the main show for that week, and then two, three, four weeks later, when we put the interview up, they we get another round of exposure for them again. Mm-hmm. So I think that's a really cool thing that we're able to kind of build in there for our guests. To, to, to kind of help that out. Well, and also, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting because I've seen some names pop in, you know, when we have specific guests on the show, mm-hmm. and they'll stick around following mm-hmm. weeks. So, you know, they come in to see this person on, on the show, mm-hmm. and then they'll stick around, and they've now become a fan of the show. And, and that's where the hybrid thing comes from because we're, we're able to really, like, it's not just a podcast. It's also Facebook Live content. Mm -hmm. at this point right um so there's i mean i think i think we're able to harness a bigger audience than we would be if like we got this podcast go check out our podcast guys and we do very well with that and there's certainly people that will catch up with it and see what happened tuesday night right well and again i'm a huge component i'm a huge proponent of your formatting Mm -hmm. when you have a new podcast go up on on the site you have the embeddable audio player at the top of the page so people can literally hit play and they can listen to the audio on it they can download it 
and they can listen to it through their pod catcher, whatever, right mm-hmm. then and there. Uh, they can read the topics that we're talking about with, especially in the case of the awesome cast where we put links to the different things, the different news items that we took, that we talked about. Yeah. And then they can also look at the video for you through YouTube that you've put, that you put together after the fact. So it doesn't matter how you're listening to it or what your preferred method of listening to things is. You've got it right there in front of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So I mean, it's, it's a little bit of, you know, and it's something that we've been working on for a while too. Mm-hmm. So, and it's interesting to see that. And, and of course, a lot of our friends are doing similar things with River's Edge and, you know, drinking partners on Facebook as well. You know, and it's, it's cool to see that happening. What's happening? <laughs> Be right back. Sorgatron Media needs to reboot momentarily. Oh no, our Chromecast is rebooting in the middle of the show. Thankfully, we weren't really using it, but nice to know you're doing that Chromecast. I'm glad I wasn't watching something important like Modern Family. Uh, but <laughs> well, I was I was thankful that it wasn't something that you were actually streaming from because yeah. I've had the the blue screen of death the past couple of days. So we're a little gun shy. I had it on the, on the system, uh, on the, the studio computer over here a couple of days ago when I was tinkering with some new cards and uh, it go, yeah, it, it gets us a little gun shy after a while. <laughs> well, my heart, my thing was like I was working on PodCamp updates yesterday. Mm-hmm. So I had three different tabs open with the PodCamp site because I was updating speakers. I was updating the schedule and I was updating a post for the main page. So I was working literally on three different things in tandem. And then I also had the Facebook and the social, the Twitter up for PodCamp because I was starting to post some different things for there and schedule some posts out. And then all of a sudden I get this, oop, something happened, blue screen, we're restarting. We'll, we're really sorry about that. And then I had to remember where I was in the process across each of those yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. And whether or not like you it got your tab, The tab came back, didn't it? Didn't the tabs come back? Oh, tabs you came back. You can restore it. Just everything was in a weird saved sp- space. and Yeah. Like, so, like, yeah. I, I lost half of the one I've had blog that. post. I've had that. Um, the, it, the thing I was trying to schedule on Facebook, it didn't save. And it was it was horrible. That's why I'm so glad. Like, like well, I have that too, because I, when, whenever we're posting the shows on Tuesday nights, it's, you know, you've already done the notes. So thankfully, that's not a part of it. Um, but there's also like that WordPress is open for that podcast, plus Sorgatron Media to repost it to, plus two to three different podcasts host pages to upload it to mm-hmm. because we have the the show page plus we have like a master feed for separately for wrestling ma'am show and sorgatron media and uh let's see we're putting it on uh maybe a secondary thing like the 405 media um let's see what else are we posting into the, the facebook page needs uploaded to the youtube page needs uploaded to and then like something crashes down just like ah oh, crap i don't remember who has a description or I got to start out with them over because <laughs> I didn't save any of them. Cause I was, I go through and say title, 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 description, 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 file, 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 image, 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 right. You, you do, a, I do a wave of them to try not to, so I don't miss anything. And uh, you just lose the whole thing. We're, we're getting all over the place here. This is just our, our getting stuff out show a little bit, but that's all right. Well, it all kind of ties back in with what you sat down to talk about, which was the, the video and the multi, stuff <laughs> stiff yeah exactly you know i always it, it is funny that we're at this point with facebook because i always i've said for a long time is like yeah we don't get, do good on youtube because i really don't make youtube friendly content i feel anybody doing content like this like uh guys that we follow like twit right they do two hour long i was just looking at the the, the this week in google i was listening to this morning was like an hour and 48 minutes which i don't recommend anybody doing a new podcast for two hours nobody nobody and and you know and we even have been kind of truncating down our shows too you know at least to an hour but that doesn't track for youtube you know there's not a lot of people going back and watching these videos after the fact except doug that puts us on her on her, on his chromecast but that's doug you know he's should i drink that he's 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 one of the uh you know long long timers old long timers old timers with me so um but anyways he's a can we call him the beer father? Because everybody seems to be wanting to give me names later, lately. I mean, he's like the proto uh, beer podcaster dude. Yeah, this is a blank stare that I'm giving you right now. I want everybody to feel the blank stare that I'm getting <laughs> if you're on the video version of this. Yeah, because uh, I, I'm not so sure of that. I, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Anyways, well... Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> we gotta get to some other things. We got a lot of shows. Uh, we got a lot of shows lined up today. Jeez, I, I've got to do my three midweek wars with uh, with Mad Mike up at Poughkeepsie. We got. Uh, I got. I got the interview I mentioned with Tom Liturgy today at four. If you guys want to kick around to the Wrestling Mayhem show, there'll be a lot of streaming happening today over there. Uh, and actually, that one, last one will probably be on IndieWrestling.us uh, Facebook page. And then uh, we'll not live, so you guys won't be able to, to hop in for this. But uh, we'll be recording some new episodes of the broadcast with our friends uh, coming in here for that. So I don't – they never give me a heads up on the guests, and which is it, – it's, it's a nice surprise. I know. I have a heads up on You the, have a heads up on the guests. I have a heads up <gasps> on a guest. And it's, a, it's so weird because, like, they come in. I'm like, I know you from something, which well, is usually you, pod camp. You do know the one guest oh, that yeah? I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you who it is just I because – I know who it is. I don't think you Does do. Does she live around the corner? You might know who it I is. Got a, I think I got a heads up at some point. Plus, I was trying to get her on when somebody no-showed. So – yeah, no, I, I think it's yeah. a surprise for you guys. Sork has figured it out now. Um, but no, it's a, it's a great, it's great stuff. Um, you know, I just added the new show that that went up this morning. Um, so, and it's I, I like it because it's a great conversation, like what we do on our shows, and 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 it's tightened up a little bit. Definitely more than our shows are because <laughs> we just let them fly. It's like we screwed up in the middle of the show. We're letting it go. And, uh, you know, it, but that's just, just kind of the method I like doing it. There's different ways to do podcasting. And, and we have like all the different kinds, I think, on the network now, um, except for except for like Radio Lab and PR style because we don't do that here for no real reason. We just haven't had a concept. So if you have a show like that that you would like to be on our network, again, hit us up that because was, we would love to have you on. I'll tell you initially, that would be an expensive show because <laughs> there's a lot of editing involved at that point. So, Well, if it's a show that somebody else is already doing. Absolutely. Absolutely. But we have we have some options, so t- come talk to us. We're, we're looking for all kinds. Definitely looking for all kinds of shows on the network. Trying to make this bigger and, and help anybody with ideas out there. If they want to do the hybrid format like this, or if you just want to come in and record and we put out the good old school trusty audio podcast, that's okay too. Yeah. Um, and, and, actually, and, and actually, I recommend that for anybody starting a new thing. And to be honest, we have a couple of audio only. We have several. Yeah. We have... We have both of those behind you with Comic Book Pit and Scarehouse that do their shows yep. like that. By the way, I got to give props for Comic Book Pit just like pounding it out after a hiatus. And they are just on top of things lately. Uh, so so good to see uh, Dan and the crew over there uh, doing some great stuff with comic books. Yeah. So <laughs> no comment. <laughs> well, that's, that's where I was headed with it is that we have shows like that. And, you know. Mm. So I think there's a forthcoming announcement soon. Yes. yes. Is uh, that getting we, close? It's it's getting close. Are we doing it over the weekend? Is no. It be a, oh, no. Well, maybe. Could be a pod camp announcement. I will have to talk to him. You have to talk to him? I have to talk to him. Mm. Uh, primarily because there's some additional work I need to do on our end of things before we can formally make it a go. Mm. Yeah, there's still some technical things. We, we're, yeah, we, we're, there's still some cleanup. Right. We, we talked about earlier this week about kind of rescuing people from their web, web hosts. We kind of do that with podcasts <laughs> lately. Seems to be our, our kind of mode. That sounds like another show, Sorg. That sounds like a whole another show, which you'll get to. And you can subscribe to Basic Sorgonomics on wherever you like some fine podcasts or make sure you're liking the page over on Facebook. And you never know where we're going to go live. We're trying to get these. It is first week doing this, so we'll, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes. I can tell you uh, about half of next week. It's not going to be until the afternoon because of some work coming up. But uh, it'll be fun. And what do? How do we do this when I start traveling in March? This will be amazing. Uh, so we'll see how all of those go. Actually, we just do those later in the day, and just be like, "How did your day go? How was the shoot? Did you get run over by a car? Uh, you know." I guess you you could potentially get run over by a car with one of the things you do. Well, the first one I go to is Arrow. I gotta worry about things hitting me in the head. <laughs> Other than your wife's hand. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you everybody hopping in here uh, during the stream and, and checking it out. Please share it if you like uh, the conversations happening here. And even after the fact, if you want to drop any comments and questions about what we did talk about, feel free to do so. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Basic Sorgonomics. I swear I'll have outro music here very soon as we build up this uh, new system. <laughs>